नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सनसेट टीवी पॉडकास्ट आई एम नम्रता सिंह नेशनल सैंपल सर्वेज प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल इन डेटा ड्रिवन पॉलिसी मेकिंग सपोर्टिंग द विजन ऑफ विकसित भारत 2047 The history of enterprise surveys goes back to 1960 with the launch of the annual survey of industries. In this episode, we decode the role and relevance of these surveys conducted by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation to understand how businesses in India operate, grow and tackle challenges. We will also break down the types of surveys conducted along with the insights on top performing industries, employment trends and the need for a new service sector survey. So to break down these critical questions and present a clear picture of India's evolving economic landscape I'm delighted to welcome Dr Saurav Garg Secretary Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation to this edition of the podcast thank you very much sir for your time and welcome to Sunset TV thank you thank you for calling to help our viewers understand that you know uh, enterprise surveys have a long history uh with uh, annual survey of industries starting in 1960 and then a uh, service for the unincorporated sectors introduced in late 70s so so could you walk us through the key enterprise surveys currently conducted by the ministry yeah so uh, just to step back that why do we do these surveys in order to get a sense of the gross domestic product which is also to understand the economy we need to know how the different sectors of the economy are doing and as you know there are three basic sectors agriculture industries and services so uh, while the agriculture sector is uh, uh, looked at separately for the industries and services sector it is the different enterprises or the different companies which work in this and we have three sets of uh, surveys that we do to understand uh, the industry sector and the services sector one is the annual survey of industries uh, which looks at the a uh, formal manufacturing sector okay the second is the annual survey of unincorporated sector enterprises which looks at the informal sector uh, uh, both for manufacturing and services okay and the third that we have just uh, starting now is the annual survey of service sector enterprises which looks at the formal services sector okay so a combination of this gives us a very good understanding of where industry where services is going and therefore where india is heading ahead okay so sir could you also share with us which enterprise surveys are currently being conducted by the nso uh, there are two which are undergoing right now the annual survey of industries it's an annual survey as you can understand all right and the second is the annual survey of unincorporated sector enterprises the third which is the annual survey of service sector enterprises is a new survey we just completed the pilot we released the results just last week and that we will be starting starting from 1st january 2026 okay so uh, you know talking about the annual survey of services uh, sector enterprises which is relatively a new you just mentioned yes. initiative that yes. reflects the growing importance of the service sector in the indian economy yes. so sir could you tell us why there was a need to launch a separate survey altogether yeah so as you would know that the composition of the uh, gdp of the country has been changing and now nearly over 50% in fact nearly 60% of the economy is the services sector right right so to get a better understanding of the services sector we are doing this survey and this will also help in a second manner that we are now looking at uh, how to not only look at the national gdp but also look at the gross state domestic product which is the gsdp at the state level so that it will also help us to give a better sense of how different states are doing on the services and that's why we have launched this new survey okay okay so and if i may ask so uh, how many enterprises are there in all in india and uh, how many are surveyed yeah so i uh, will break it up into three parts one is the organized manufacturing there are about 2 lakh uh, enterprises okay. uh, and that and in the asi we do a substantial uh, nearly 50 uh, to 70000 uh, enterprises we okay. survey so it's it's a it's Huge. a quite a yeah. it's it's a queue out of the 2 lakh which are there right in the service sector there are about uh, 7 lakh enterprises in the service sector in the pilot that we did recently uh we had uh, targeted to have around 10000 enterprises 
the actual pilot had slightly less than 5,000 who responded. And uh, we will be then uh, now deciding from 1st January 2026 that what should be the survey size which will give us uh, sufficient uh, understanding of that sector. But that might be somewhere anywhere between 30 to 50,000 enterprises. Okay. The largest is the informal sector which has nearly 7.5 crore enterprises and uh, that is uh, the largest. For the uh, annual survey of unincorporated, we do about 5 lakh, okay. 2.5 around 2 lakh in the urban and 2.5 in the uh, rural, rural for, so total around 5 lakh. There is a stratified sampling methodology we follow, so that to ensure that it is representative and that the results that we get are sufficient to take care of and give an idea of the entire 7.5 crore enterprises. So, what are the top industries in registered manufacturing uh, sector in India as per the ASI? Now, regarding the top industries in the uh, manufacturing sector, the registered manufacturing, as you would expect, the largest is food products. Oh. So, uh, food products, etc. The second largest is uh, non metallic mineral products. Okay. So, that is a very large sector. And the third is textiles, apparels, textiles. So, uh, that is uh, major. They are the top performing. Uh, they, are the, they are the largest in terms of size, okay. largest in terms of uh, value added and uh, largest in terms of number of people they employ. In fact, uh, textiles employs slightly more uh, than uh, other minerals. So, food products and textiles are two major sectors in the manufacturing sector. What are the top industries in unincorporated uh, non-agriculture sector and non-construction sector as per the ASUs? Yeah. So, in that in the non-enterprising uh, as you would expect, uh, the different service industries are the largest. Okay. So, you have uh, different sectors in the services that are uh, that are being given and, and trade because a lot of the trading is done in that sector. You have shops and establishments. So, a number of services for example, like hotels and restaurants and uh, uh, cab services, different services that are given to people, they are uh, the largest in that and manufacturing in the unincorporated sector comes in at the third. Uh, level. So, it is trade and uh, services and trade which are the top two. Okay, okay. And uh, so, so, who are the primary users of the enterprise surveys conducted by the NOC under the ministry and does MOSP also uses the you know data result uh, conducted by these surveys? Uh, yes, as I mentioned one of the major uses of this is to calculate the GDP of the country. So, uh, that is why we do these surveys. While we use a number of other data points, we get data from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, we get data from uh, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, we get data from Ministry of Steel, Ministry of Textiles, but we revalidate that data with the survey data and that is how we can calculate the GDP growth rates uh, and uh, other activities of the economy how it is doing. Okay. Apart from that, a lot of researchers use this data to understand uh, and get better understanding at, at a granular level of each of the sectors of the industry. So, it is used extensively uh, by uh, researchers and also by academicians, by students. To understand to un the health uh, of the economy? To understand the health of the economy, where the sectors are growing, where it is doing uh, not so doing well and more importantly, it is under it is uh, looked on by the businesses themselves okay. to understand how that particular sector is doing, where the investments are going, where employment is going. So, these are surveys which really uh, to it is like a diagnostic of the economy. So, they are very important. Very important, very important sir. And uh, you know talking about in this data, you know security because it is data driven world, data security is crucial than ever. So, how is this data collected in the enterprise surveys conducted by the MOSP and what measures are being taken to uh, you know uh, in ensure its quality yeah. and uh, no, safety. No, absolutely, that is very important as you very correctly mentioned. So, all the data that we use and collect is done uh, using uh, computer aided devices. We have tablets which are used for the informal sector and that tablet has uh, the software running and the responses are automatically captured in the tablet and that gets uploaded into our cloud okay. uh, and that cloud has the best of security measures uh, that any government uh, cloud has. Similarly, for uh, the formal sector, 
uh, we send a link uh, to the enterprises and uh, by using that link they are able to upload that data which again gets uploaded into a cloud and that is where we maintain the data. The cloud security is maintained by the best agencies uh, within the country and uh, we ensure that the data processing is also done in, in, that, in that manner so that there is no uh, possibility of the uh, data leaving our systems and uh, we have a very uh, and then we disseminate the data. So, in terms of collection, it is done in a safe environment and a secure environment. Yeah, in fact, my next question was about that, that you know, how is the data uh, from the enterprise surveys disseminated and what steps are being taken to improve the accessibility uh, and ease of uh, for different stakeholders? Sure. So, uh, as you know that unless uh, data is not used, uh, it is not at all uh, useful for us or it's, it does not help. Right. So, our focus is uh, data driven decision making. In fact, the tagline of our ministry is data for development. Okay. So, dissemination is a very, very important part of our uh, uh, work systems. We have a website where we put all the data uh, that we, all the survey data and other data that we produce and that website is very user friendly. We are constantly upgrading the website to ensure that people are able to do different types of data visualizations on that. We extensively use the social media. We bring out small, small nuggets of information. We bring out infographics so that people are able to understand and cull out whatever is the useful uh, data. And apart from that, we are also uh, have a number of data user conferences where we get researchers, academicians, students and explain to them how that data has been generated, how it can be used, what kind of data analysis. Uh, can be done. So, all these activities are done with the objective that the data that we produce and people understand the economy in a much a better manner and that they are using data which is credible and uh, which has been uh, which is robust, which is statistically robust so that there are no uh, uh, any kind of wrong conclusions uh, that, that can be drawn. So, sir, this website data is like, uh, so it is open for all? Like oh, yes, there are no charges, it is open for all. Okay. In some of the data where there is micro data involved, uh, we obviously anonymize the data. There is a provision for registration, but that is an immediate uh, registration, but we do not charge for our data, that okay. is our policy, since all the data is produced by the government and uh, the focus. <laughs> in the Viksad Bharat 2047 is obviously on data driven uh, decision making. Decision making, right sir. And sir, how is a stakeholders involvement ensured in the planning and execution of these surveys? Yeah. So, for every survey that we do, in fact every year when we do, uh, we extensively uh, consult with different experts on this. We have what is called a technical advisory group, a, a TAG which is uh, comprises of experts in the sector, representatives of the different ministries from the government of India, academics also are part of it and we discuss with them that what should be, uh, what should be done in the next survey. And as I mentioned earlier, we are doing data users conferences, we consult with the industry associations and federations, we disseminate with them and discuss with them and tell them that this is the data that we have and take their suggestions on what needs to be done. So, at every stage whether it is at design stage, at the implementation stage in any case it is done with the help of the stakeholders and only once they respond are we able to use and then at the dissemination of stage also we work with them because it is very important that the stakeholders feel that the data is credible, it is robust and it is something that is useful, useful them. for them. Right, sir. So, and so, what are some of the indicators uh, on which the data is available from the enterprise surveys? Yeah. So, uh, we have, for example, obviously, uh, we have an indication of the kind of employment that is being given out there. What is the kind of emoluments being given to them? What is the kind of skill requirements that industries have from right. them? What is the kind of skill gaps uh, uh, the, uh, that there are? It gives an idea of the kind of turnover. Uh, that the uh, companies are having, uh, the kind of fixed assets uh, that they are uh, having out there, what is the value addition that is being done uh, in these uh, factories and an idea of the kind of raw materials uh, that are required and what is the kind of output 
that there is. So, it is a very comprehensive idea of industries and which will also help businesses to plan and try and see where are the areas where uh, they can benchmark themselves and therefore, improve their industries and improve customer delivery uh, in the different businesses. All right. Uh, so, sir, do you think that manufacturing sector uh, has completely come out of the uh, pandemic effect? Absolutely. If we, we do this annual survey of industries every year and we see that the present levels of turnover, present levels of employment are even higher than the pre-pandemic uh, time, forget the pandemic time. So, the kind of value addition that is happening, the kind of growth rates that are happening and uh, across the GDP, we have uh, last year is expected to be around uh, 6.4, 6.5 which right, we had predicted. Right. And uh, therefore, uh, the uh, pandemic is something which is now uh, part of history or legacy right. and the industries are well beyond that. Okay. So, what about the employment growth in uh, the manufacturing sector? If you look at the last year, I have these figures with me. Uh, for example, it has uh, the number of people engaged in 22, 23 has exceeded the pre-pandemic level by more than 22 lakhs. Oh. So, there has been significant growth rates and the emoluments also have grown by uh, more than 6 percent uh, year to year. year, so, to year. so, that it is a very healthy growth and output is of course, done well. Yes, sir. So, uh, do you think the recently released uh, that ASI 2023-2022-23 data uh, shows a jobless growth? Uh, I think I think not at all, uh, because uh, the if you look at the value addition and you look at the growth rate of employment, they have been at the same level 7.3, 7.4. Hmm. So, it is very clearly shows just as value addition is rising, employment is rising to the same level. So, I think it would be a misnomer uh, to call this kind of a growth a jobless growth and if you look at the uh, number of employments and we have another survey which looks at labor force survey, even uh, that is talking on similar line. Sir, also I wanted to ask what are the other surveys which are related to enterprise surveys, but are different from these three main surveys? Yeah. So, uh, we do a number of as I mentioned the enterprise surveys and what we call household surveys. And I would especially like to just talk about two of them which can be uh, useful and maybe a third one also. There is one we call the periodic uh, labor force survey, okay. which gives an idea of the kind of jobs that people are doing, individuals are doing and those jobs can be uh, of uh, within agriculture sector, in the household sector or in the enterprise sector. And that also gives an idea of where jobs are growing, what are the kind of skill sets that are required. So, that is one survey which is very important and in fact, now we will be bringing that out on a monthly basis. Okay. The second one which we do periodically every 3 to 5 years is the household consumption expenditure survey, which gives an idea of the kind of products that people are buying. So, that is also useful to enterprises because it gives an idea that what are the products where people are spending more money, they are spending more money on conveyance, on tourism, uh, on the kind of food, processed food that they are buying, the consumer durables that they are buying. So, this survey also helps and it is a kind of an adjunct to the enterprise service. And I will quickly just mention about one more survey which is a very interesting survey which gives an idea of how people spend their time, okay. which is a time use survey which we do every 5 years. That is interesting. Uh, that is in fact, we brought out the latest survey just last year okay. and it gives uh, a sense of how much time people are spending in the social media, how much time they are spending on learning activities, how much time they are spending in the workplace, how much time they are spending commuting. So, these 3 surveys I would just like to briefly mention and would uh, strongly urge people to have a look at these surveys also and all of them are available on our website. Definitely people should uh, you know go to these websites and uh, understand about these surveys. Thank you sir for sharing your insights on the enterprise surveys and its impact uh, on the Indian economy. These surveys are key to shaping informed policies and understanding our business landscape. We hope this discussion has given you a clearer picture of how enterprise data shapes India's evolving economy. Thank you viewers for tuning in and we look forward to bringing you more informative episodes here on Sunset TV. Thanks for watching.